All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. So welcome to this 40-minute Rebounder Boot Camp class. You're going to say, Angie, what is boot camp? I am going to be focusing on cardiovascular intensity. So we're going to really work it today. I'm going to say this is more an intermediate level workout. You're going to want, and we're going to just do, when you do a basic good morning, Betta, good morning, Virginia, good morning, Cheryl, when you do a boot camp class, you have elements of cardio, elements of strength training, light and heavy weights, and elements of body weight with core training. So boot camp is interval style. We're going to do one minute each exercise. So you can go really super. When I say grab your heavy weights, you can go he as heavy as you want. When I say grab your light weights, you get to go as light as you want because each exercise is 60 seconds. Why do I do this? This allows us to work at our own intensity because my heavy is not your heavy. And if I'm going to be super, super heavy today, I'm going to go much slower than the lighter weights. Good morning, Virginia. Okay, good morning, everyone. So grab a stick. And it's just because we're going to row today. All right? So you're going to grab your stick. We're going to, again, this class has elements of cardio on the rebounder, light weights, threes or fives, heavy weights, tens, twelves, fifteens, twenty pounds, and body weight interspersed through the 40 minute class. And of course, you always have a very inspirational cool down and stretch. Good morning, Roland. So I'm so glad you're here with me today. I've been traveling the last two weeks. I'm here for the next two weeks, and then I'm out for a while. So if you guys are about ready, grab your small deflated ball. I'm just going to close the door. Grab a small deflated ball if you have it. And everybody can hear me, right? Look at you guys. Look how long my hair is getting. Look, remember, I don't know. Some of you have been on my journey with me when my hair was like this short up to here. And I said, I'm going to let it grow out. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? I'm going to be 51 in September too. Crazy time. Okay. It's 930. I'm going to start the timer. Well, uh, you know, you guys, we always start with a beautiful warm up. Okay. Have your light weights your heavy weights, and your ball by your side. All right, my friends. Okay, here we go. Welcome to this beautiful 40-minute start-to-finish rebounding boot camp. We're going to start with a beautiful health bounce. So your feet are in the middle of the rebounder surface. Now, this is closed kinetic chain. I want both feet pressing down into the mat. We have two minutes, just like this. All right, so while we're doing this beautiful health bounce, I want to tell you what we're going to do today. When you think of a boot camp class, you have elements of cardio, weights, strength training, body weight, and core. And that's exactly what we're going to do today, interval style. I will say this is more of an advanced beginner, intermediate level workout. My name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I've been teaching rebound. I gotta turn on my timer, don't I? Okay, you know I'm doing this live, my friend. Okay, there we go. Wouldn't it help if I turned on my timer? Yes, it would help. <laughs> so right now I am live streaming. I live stream most weeks. I travel all around the world, literally. So I happen to be in my home studio today. So right now, we're always just starting warming up with a beautiful health bounce, my friend. So you're going to also have a stick. If you have a stick or a yardstick or a resist -a band, I want you to grab that as well. So grab light weights, threes or fives, heavy weights, 10, 12s, 15s, 20s, 25s, whatever. Your rebounder, of course. All right. I am using the beautiful leaps and rebounds bungee rebounder. Highly economical and affordable. If you're watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, this looks like so fun. I'm going to buy a rebounder. 
go in the description box below, click my link, and buy yourself a Leaps and Rebounds Rebounder. Each exercise I do, good morning, Jeanette. Each exercise I do is 60 seconds. And the reason I do that, we have 40 seconds, is we are on all different rebounders. Spring loaded, bungee loaded, but even the bungees were on all different strengths. So my bounce is not gonna look like your bounce. You may have a leaps and rebounds. You may have the strength of bungee I do, you may not, okay? So remember, each exercise is 60 seconds. You get to go at your own pace, focusing on form, technique, and accuracy to prevent injury, okay? Beautiful class. All right, take that ball and start bouncing. Now let's circle that ball around. Just getting nice and warm, you guys. Always the first song. You know I get you into a beautiful, beautiful half bounce in the beginning. All right, and switch. All right, you guys, I want you to grab your light hand weights right now. So I want you to grab your threes or your fives. And then I want you to get back on that rebounder. I have a lot of cord from my microphone. Okay, grab your threes, I'm gonna grab fives. This is our lightweight portion. We're gonna start with weights. All right, just go ahead, wide bounce. In 10 seconds, we're gonna start overhead. Now remember, it's your timing, 60 seconds. Light weights to start us off, and go, palm faces in. You're just gonna do, I have five pounds in my hands, side to side right here push it through here you see that timer all I'm gonna do in 10 seconds is switch the position of our hands so right now I have palms facing in now let's have palms facing away they're still going over your head Front corner of the room. Light weights, my friend. Push it through. So we're starting off with those light weights. We warmed up with the health bounce. We got our connective tissue, lymphatic system, digestive system. We got everything going. Now, I'm gonna do palms up. Palms face in towards your body, but we're reaching to the front corner of the room. Ooh, I know you're burning. So I'm gonna say on these exercises, the lighter weights, I'm gonna do every 30 seconds, not 60, but when we do those heavy weights, it's gonna be 60 seconds per move. But since we have the light weights, we're gonna do 30 seconds per move. All right, now forward. So we're getting that little rotation in. I know we're not, we just warmed up. We're in our second song. We have nine songs to work through. Right here. I want those hips to go with you. I want that right and left hip to go with you. Beautiful, full body, cardiovascular and muscular endurance. Okay, I want you to just press down. Coming through the midline of your body lifting the elbows right here so today we're getting a heart healthy cardiovascular workout in and a bone healthy muscular endurance and strength workout in today you're revving up your metabolism long after the workout is over my friend now we're gonna do right here palms are up Get that rotational pattern in. Okay, you're in track two of nine. So right here, track three is gonna be all cardio, my friend. Remember I said boot camp, we're interspersing cardio, light weight, heavy weight, body weight, and core. Yeah? Okay. 
Now I want you to row. We're just keeping this side to side pattern. You can tell we have an upper body focus in track two. You're strong, you're fit, and you are so powerful. 40 minutes, you are getting your cardio, and you're getting your strength training, and your core training in, all on this beautiful rebounder. Rebounding is low impact, joint friendly, and loads of fun. If you want a new way to work out, my friend, grab yourself a rebounder, just keep going. You're just gonna follow my lead. Beautiful upright row. Come into chest level. Push it through. Almost done. Now we're gonna come out, bend your elbows as you rock side to side. Elbow comes shoulder height and down. Push it through here. I know we're burning, my friend. I know we're burning. Whew, some of these exercises are 30 seconds. Some I'm making 60 seconds. We're really working with our interval timing. Push it through. You got 15 seconds here, or until the music changes. All right, put those light weights down. Start with your jack. One minute. Let's go. We're into that cardio. 60 seconds. Now, I want you to focus on pressing down into the mat. You know your options, right? You don't have to go hot and heavy out of the gate. Let's go. Come on. Press down into the mat. You want a higher intensity burn. Use those arms. Arms can come forward, side. Play around with your arms. We have four cardio exercises to run through. And then we're gonna grab a really heavy weight of the day. And we're gonna hit heavy strength training. You ready? Let's tick tock. Now your hands can be by your side. Let me show you that lower intensity version. Right here, 60 seconds. You can use those arms. I love when arms come in and out. Right now I'm gonna put them on my hips. Whew. Beautiful TikTok. 30 more seconds, my friend. You gotta ask yourself, why are you here? You really wanna, you're here to just stay healthy and move your body. Components of health are cardio, heart healthy, cardiovascular components, which is what we're doing now. And strength training for our bones and for our muscles so we stay strong. This one workout right here in 40 minutes has it all. High knee runners. Now, let me show you the lower intensity. Remember, you never have to jump on here, right? You never have to jump. You can just use this trampoline as an unstable surface. Take the knees up to belly button height if you can. I tell you the month of August I'm doing a marathon. Yeah. I keep a lot in my private life quiet. But I'm going to be doing a marathon. Just signed up yesterday. Month of August. Come on, 15 seconds. That's like 26 point something miles. I should know. It's a lot of running. That's all I know. Okay, heels in front. 
arms again. You want higher intensity? Now that lower version, right here. You do not have to just jump on your trampoline if you don't like it. Right here. 60 seconds each exercise. Okay, track four. When it comes, you're gonna grab the heaviest weights of the day. So for me, those are gonna be 15s. You have to decide for you, what is your heavy weight of the day? Push it through. Come on. Let's move quick. It's all about the press down into the mat. Try to use those arms. All right, my friend. Woo. Let's grab your heavy weights. I'm gonna give you one minute to transition. Heavy weights, heavy weights. So for me, that's 15. All right, we're gonna have five exercises. We're gonna start feet hip width apart. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Let's start with the deadlift, here we go. Hinge from your hip. Again, I don't care how quick and I don't care how slow you're going. This is heavy weight. I want it more slow and controlled. There's nothing like a good deadlift. Now, you can decrease the range of motion if you have back issues. Come to the top of the kneecap, and then you can lift. If your hips allow, that hip hinge motion allows, go ahead and come down a little bit further. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Lift up that back heel and continue that deadlift. Unilateral training. So that back heel is lifted off the rebounder surface. Nice flat back, hip hinge. We have 10 seconds and we're gonna lift the front heel. Switching it up. Beautiful job. Let's lift that front heel. Again, feet are hip width apart. Front heel is lifted. It's gonna allow you to concentrate a little more on that back leg. After this, we're gonna go into a front squat. So we're gonna take our feet, hip width apart, or you can adjust, and they can be wider. We're gonna hold the weights to the front of our body. So just like this, hold it to the front. We're gonna touch. This is a front squat, wide. So you touch down on the rebounder and you lift. 50 seconds of work. These are big compound movements. Now in 30 seconds, actually in 10 seconds, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to lift over your head. Or you can come up and you can begin that now. Nice, slow, and controlled. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. You're working hip mobility right here too. You have 15 seconds. All right, everyone's gonna give me one more. And we're gonna come off the rebounder. And we're gonna do a suitcase carry. You're gonna pick that front leg. You're gonna step on. You're gonna step off. You're gonna turn and it's the other leg. It's a suitcase carry. And you're gonna turn around so you're alternating the legs. 40 more seconds. So you're carrying two suitcases. So. You're switching the foot, that good morning Patricia, that comes on and off, so you're rotating. It's not the same leg, stepping up every time. Let's go. Carrying a suitcase. Come on you guys, 15 seconds. Heavy weight, suitcase carry. One more. You need to know how to step on and step off. 
You're going to love me for this one. You know this one, but with heavy weight. Lateral movement, working hip abductors. Right here. Challenging your coordination, your stability. Because you got to step on an unsteady surface. Holding those heavy weights is really packing a punch right here. So when you step on that unsteady surface, you have tons of stabilizing muscles that have to engage and work. Push it through. Right here. Very functional in nature. Do you not sidestep? You don't want to fall when you're carrying things and you're in a sideways position, right? So we're going to do one more. Wherever you're at, I want you to get back on the rebounder. I want you to come into a wide squat. We're going to touch and we're going to row. Unilateral row to the chest. Down. Big functional movements right here. So you're not quite in a plie and you're not in a forward squat. Cardio coming up next in track five. Hip mobility, right? Because what are you doing? You're touching the weights to the rebounder surface. So you feel how your hips are having to engage. We're also working mobility. Unilateral strength training. Working one arm at a time. 10 seconds, weights go down. We're back into cardio. Rebounding, one more. Rebounding, whew, boot camp. You ready? Put those heavy weights down. All right, let's jog. Let's jog. If you don't like to jog, you're gonna march. 50 seconds, look at me. What we have left is body weight, strength training, cardio, core, and cool down. We're coming down the line. We're pushing. We're working hard. Remember, you are so blessed. You can move your body. You can get heart healthy strong using the rebounder. You can pick up your weights and use the rebounder and get bone healthy strong. You know my background is physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, my friend. Push it. Woo, so we're jogging or marching. Now ski. Feet are in a railroad track. Use those arms. Now let me show you that lower modification. This workout can be beginner friendly if you don't use the mini trampoline surface to jump. If you're just, that's okay. You don't have to jump, my friend. Not required. Not at all. Look at me. You, your body is beautiful right where it's at. But if you want to get stronger, heart healthy strong and bone health strong, yeah, just do these workouts. But always, always go at your own intensity, your own level, focus on accurate form, accurate technique. Always, always, always listen to your body. Don't do what I'm doing if it doesn't feel good on your body. Modify. Listen to your body at all times. Right here. Now, let me show you the lower modification. Again, we're not jumping. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Okay, higher intensity. You can add that little hop. Yeah, yeah, my friend. Track five and nine. So we're doing a little rotation again. If you don't like the hopping, it's too much jarring on your body. Try to go lower impact, opposite elbow, opposite knee, touch. Get the knee to belly button height. Absolutely, this is standing core. Absolutely. This is cardio. Add the jump or no jump. All right, my friend. Are you ready? 
to hit track six. Body weight. Let's take it down. Tricep dips. Hit it. I can. Butt is off. We're going to have three exercises. All right. Stop, drop, roll on. Roll on. Glad you stopped in to say hi real quick. I hope you enjoy it when you do it later. Good morning, Leslie. I hope you enjoy this when you do this workout later. It's a comprehensive cardio, strength, core, and mobility workout all in 40 minutes, my friend. Again, take a break when you need it. Just do, you're focusing on what your body can do. In each and every single workout you ever do, you modify if you need to, and you always, always focus on what your individual body can do for you. You're not here to compete with anybody else but you. I want you to sit your butt on. I want your heels on the frame, and I want you to lift right here. Body weight. We're working the backside of our body. Come on. So your butt does not touch the rebounder mat. Lift nice and equal between that right and that left heel. One minute, my friend. After this, in 30 seconds, you get to turn it around, and we get to do those beautiful push-ups. Remember, body weight track right here. And then we're going back into cardio. Come on, press it up. You guys are so strong, fit, powerful. Remember, you are so blessed. You can move your body. You get one life. You get one body. You must take care of your health. Body, mind, and spirit, my friend. Yeah? Turn it around and get into those push-ups. Again, as quick or as slow as you want to go. Take a break at the top and hold a little plank if you need to. Push it through. I feel like with my hair, I look like a jungle woman. <laughs> Press it down and up. So today we use light weights, we used our heavy weights, and we're using our own body weight, right? Tons of movement here. We're body movement strong, my friend. <sighs> Whew. Push it through. One more, wherever you're at, you're going to turn it back on your butt. Your heels are going to be on the frame, and we're going to just do marches. Looks like this. We're working the back side of the body. Again, knee is coming in. So these are your marches right here. We're almost done. And we're going to hit some beautiful cardio in track seven of nine. Let's have some fun. Let's grab our long piece of tubing or our fit stick. You're going to give me 20 seconds. So you're going to, after this, we're going to have some fun with our cardio. You're going to grab, you don't have to grab anything, but if you want to grab something to make it a little fun, you can grab your fit stick or a long towel or your resist a band. Here, let's grab it. This is it for cardio. Okay. Right here. So, again, let's start. If you don't, you can just do a long towel. I want it hip to hip. So right elbow, right hip, left elbow, left hip. You feel that rotational pattern? So again, you can jump it or not jump it. Up to you. I'll link this foot stick below in the description box too. So elbow to hip. You got that little rotation going. 20 seconds. This is it for cardio. Cool. And then cool down. Yeah. Beautiful twisting. Come on. Now again, you could use a long towel. Or 
or resist a band tubing. Now, circle. So you're doing like little, I call it a little jiggy, right here. Bend in your elbow, I'll show you from behind. It's like toe taps, and you're circling like an angel halo. No tension on the rotator cuff. Just a beautiful circle. Soft bend in your elbow, drawing a circle, a small circle to the ceiling. Reverse your circle. So we're working on shoulder mobility. Cardio, so you're doing toe taps to the front. Right here. Beautiful job. You're gonna give me 10 seconds. We're gonna move on. All right, figure eight. So you're taking, I'll go in slow-mo. I'll show the arms. Again, resist a band, a long towel. We all have a towel we shower with, right? Just side to side. But I love the fit stick. It's just a hollow piece of plastic tubing. Right hand down, left hand down. What are we doing here? Cardio? And we're working on coordination. As we get older, we lose a lot of our coordination. If we don't make our body do brand new movement patterns. Again, if I'm slower, I'm just gonna get this motion down. And then, as I get stronger, I'm gonna speed it up, right? Yes. Right hand down, left hand down, figure eight. Sideways, figure eight. You feel those big shoulder movements? Working that range of motion. Now, one knee, I want that stick. Now look, if I'm slowing it down, I come to the crown of my head, soft bend in my elbows, the arms do not come behind my ears. Right here, pressing the knee up to belly button height, and that towel, resist a banner stick, meets. Now, what are you doing here? Feel that balance, feel the core. Now, you can add the hop. Once you get the arms down, you can add the hop, or you can even go quicker. So, I like a hop in between. Push it through. Push it through. Again, you get to pick what your exercise looks like for you. Now I want you to press down wide into the mat. And I want you to press out chest level right here. Let's go. Press it out. Press it out, my friend. Keep pressing it out. My internet stopped working on my main computer. Press it out and bounce. Okay, here we go. Let's see where we're at. We're on our last song. Right here. That's okay, our timer stopped. All right. Let me go ahead. Something is glitching on my end. So you guys keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. Okay. We're gonna do these last two again. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish this. We're gonna finish this. I know my timer, I'm gonna just go ahead and take the timer off because, okay, the whole thing glitched. That's okay. We're pressing down into the mat right here. We have three more songs left. Press down into the mat and you're going chest level. So the work is in the press down. Okay, press down, press down. Right here, chest level. Push it through. Beautiful job. 
Let's go a couple more, and we're gonna go into core after this. So your chest level, just pressing down nice and equal between that right and that left heel. All right, now we're gonna start some core. So I want the right foot forward again. You can use a long resistive band tubing. You can use just a regular towel. Okay, we're gonna start. It's a figure eight right here. Beautiful rotational patterns and movements right here. So forward and back. Forward and back. Beautiful rotational pattern. Right foot forward, left foot back. You are just rowing to the front, rowing to the back. Right here. Breathe it through. Beautiful rowing pattern. Right here. Keep going, keep going. Okay, that's not our real time, but let's just give it another 30 seconds. So we're already way ahead. Just a beautiful rotational row. Ah, let's just do 15 more seconds. Ah, this workout might be 45 minutes. So what happens is when I go live, sometimes you can have computer glitches, timer glitches, music or audio glitches, but we keep going with it, right? You keep moving, left foot in front. It's a row, row forward, row back. Now you remember my background is physical therapy. I worked home health, outpatient, orthopedic, <laughs> hospitals, I've done it all. I've also been a massage therapist for 25 years. Group fitness, personal training, Pilates and yoga, 25 years. I got all my certifications when I was like 25. My last schooling education was physical therapy. I was a social work, sociology, bachelor's major. Got my bachelor's in sociology. I was going to be a social worker. But that kind of didn't work out for me. I didn't want to do it. So I went into massage, group fitness, Pilates, yoga, and then I wanted a medical license. So I finished it with physical therapy. All right. So I want a beautiful rotation now. Nice and bigger. You feel that in your core? Soft bend in your knees. So if you have any limitations, any shoulder issues, you're gonna decrease that range of motion. So if I had any shoulder issues, come in front of the face. Come in front of the face. Don't go behind the face. Yeah, it's a beautiful way to really challenge your core and work your range of motion. You guys, as we get older, we lose a lot of range of motion in our shoulders and in our hips. We don't want that, right? No. We do not want that. Come on. Give it to me. Give me 10 more seconds. And we're going to alternate in the other direction. Okay. Now, just think about it. Go in the other direction. Let's go. Come on, push it through. Uh, these are called windmills, by the way. Beautiful job here. Beautiful windmills. I know you feel that in your core. It is standing core right here. So this is our last song. And then we're going to go into our cool down and stretch. Beautiful rebounder boot camp class. We focused on intervals of cardio, lightweight, heavyweight, body weight, core, mobility, coordination. Yeah, you got it all. My workouts have it all because of my background. I'm so much more than just a group fitness instructor. Your body will absolutely get strong start to finish. 
All right, you're gonna love me. You're gonna come up, spear a fish. What are you doing here? You're working core, you're working balance, you're working coordination. You're already on an unsteady surface. So tons of small stabilizing muscles need to get in there and need to work, right? So you're spearing a fish center, spear a fish. Now, you're gonna be wobbly, of course, because you're working balance. I'm asking you to stand on one leg to hold your entire body. Now, you don't have to use this stick. I do want you to focus on the rotation because that's where the core work comes in. Don't you like to know why you're doing what you're doing? Yeah? So do I. I don't like the instructors that they don't tell you why you're doing it. I want you to go ahead. I want you to sit it down. You're gonna take over your head and lift to the ceiling. So you're just rolling up and down right here. Beautiful, don't let your arms go behind your ears because that puts so much pressure on the rotator cuff. When your arms go behind your ears, puts a lot of just wear, a lot of extra tension on that rotator cuff, on those muscles. So even if you need to, put a bend in your knee. What are we doing here? Hands are shoulder width apart. You feel your back extensors work? Yeah, for good posture? Right here. So feel that, feel all those back extensors in your back. As you sit up, nice and tall. Beautiful job. We're gonna keep doing this. We've hit a lot of muscles, but I wanna work these smaller, stabilizing back extensor muscles. Wayne Dyer wants to Okay. You cannot be lonely if you like the person you are alone. Health bounce. Listen. If you love who you are. If you are at peace with who you are. Listen. If you know that you are not in this world to live up to others' expectations and society's judgments, then you don't need others to fill a void because there is no void to fill. They might say you need friends to be complete. You need to get out more. You need to be more social. Health bounce. The people who say this are almost always the same people who cannot sit alone by themselves for even one minute without feeling lonely because they can't stand their own company. The same people who can't sit alone for one minute without being bored, without picking up their phone and doing something to get a dopamine hit of attention. One more minute. Sending a message. Posting Health something bounce. on social media. Checking their inbox of how many likes they have. I don't know about you, but I prefer to live at peace with who I am rather than be addicted to needing attention to feel a sense of self-worth. Let's be clear. There is nothing wrong with being around others or spending time with friends. The more time you can spend with people you love being around, the better. People who get you. People who are in sync with you. People that are easy to be around. People who make conversation easy, effortless, fun. What I am saying here is that the goal is getting where you don't need to be around others for your completion. You enjoy the company of others, but you enjoy being alone just as much. When you get to that place, that is magic. Those who can fly alone have the strongest wings. Those who can walk Watch. alone have the strongest direction. Those who can be alone and remain at peace are those who will always be okay with or without company, with or without attention. So love others. Enjoy great people and great company. But work on you first. Work on you until you enjoy your own company more than any other. Watch. Beautiful mobility and stretch.
Watch. Rotational stretch. Watch. Touch side to side. Watch. Arms forward. Thumbs up. Watch. Touch the rebounder surface. Bend your knees. Roll it up. Straight legs touch. Bend. Roll it up. Deep breath in. And exhale. Wow. Beautiful class. We got off just a little bit. My timer decided to take a little freeze. But hey, you guys, I'll be live streaming a rebounding class this upcoming Thursday. It's okay if you cannot watch me live. You're at work. All you have to do is go to Angie Fitness TV on YouTube, my YouTube Angie Fitness TV page. At the very top, you'll see a tab that says videos. All you do is click that tab, and you'll see all my newest uh, workouts. New, It goes newest to oldest so all you do is go to youtube type in angie fitness tv all one word right there on the top it says videos click that video tab and you will absolutely always see my newest live stream workouts all right amanda i am so glad you were able to make it today for the live stream um it was a beautiful full body rebounder boot camp class with elements of cardio, lightweight, heavyweight, body weight, core, mobility, and coordination. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. Until next time, my friends, all I ask is that you subscribe, share, and follow. We are truly body, mind, and spirit. We have one life. We do not get a do-over. Let me say that again. We have one life. We do not get a do-over. You need to make each and every day count. We are truly body, mind, and spirit. And my workouts truly encompass body, mind, and spirit. Until next time, my friend. I'll catch you on a live stream or recorded. Okay, bye. Bye, guys.